In this video we are going to see variable frequency drives and some basic applications in HVAC system part 1. Welcome to Controls and Systems YouTube channel. VFDs for HVAC, a variable frequency drive is a type of motor controller that drives an electric motor by varying the frequency and voltage supplied to the electric motor. A variable frequency drive adjusts the speed of an HVAC fan or pump motor based on demand to save energy and prolong motor life. The mechanical engineer designs the building's heating and cooling system for when the load is at its greatest level, December to March for cooling, and March to June for heating. What happens during those in-between months? The heating and cooling seasons are varying depending on the country and state. The motor usually doesn't have to run at full speed. A VFD will modulate the fan or pump motor to match the current conditions of the space. Without the VFD modulating the motor, it would run the motor at full speed or shut it off. And constant on and off is not good for motor life. The VFD also provides a soft start for the motor, thus increasing motor life. Modulation of the fan or pump based on current space demands also provides stable temperature. Where are VFDs used? Variable torque, supply and return fans, cooling towers, stairway and parking ventilation, boiler pumps and fans, kitchen hoods, rooftop units, air handlers and more. These are applications with a fluctuating load where we can ramp up or ramp down the motor speed to meet the load. These are called variable torque applications. And with them, you will see energy savings with reduced motor speed. Constant torque. These include elevators, escalators, compressors, hoists, conveyors and more. These are other applications that need to run at the same speed even as the load varies. As these need to run at a certain speed, the affinity laws do not apply to this. Energy saving, through affinity laws, also known as fan laws or pump laws, we can calculate the energy saved by reducing the speed of a motor. These laws apply both to centrifugal and axial fans and pumps. When a motor is running at full speed or 60 Hz, there is no energy saving since we are running the motor at full speed. But if we reduce the speed by just 10% to 54 Hz, we will reduce the energy used by 27%. If we reduce the speed of the motor by 20% to 48 Hz, we will reduce the energy used by 49%. Almost half the energy used by reducing the motor only 20%. That's a significant energy savings for the end user. Reducing the motor speed more and more will result in less significant energy savings as the curve begins to flatten out. We don't recommend running in the motor at less than 30 Hz. We have 88% energy savings, but we need to keep it running fast enough to cool itself. These are all fan applications where VFDs are commonly used to provide energy savings. What controls a VFD? VFDs are controlled by sensors such as temperature, humidity, pressure, or CO2 sensors. This sensor is either wired through a controller or straight to the VFD. In this example, a duct sensor is wired to a DDC controller. A DDC controller, which stands for Direct Digital Controller, is a controller that uses analog or digital signals from various devices such as a field sensor and actuators, to process and control the system based on the program written inside the controllers and has the capability to send the information to supervisor software. The controller is commanding the VFD speed. Most VFDs operate as part of a DDC system. In these cases, the DDC system provides the smarts. The VFD acts response to the DDC system commands. In this example, the duct sensor is wired straight to the VFD, from the VFD's keypad, a PID loop wizard is used to set up how the VFD controls the fan speed. The PID loop control will maintain a fan or pump set point based on feedback from the sensor. The PID loop control looks at the current feedback while considering past and future feedback to maintain motor speed. PID loop basics and setup are covered later in another video. Well, 
I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching our video. Have a great day.